first 10 series, this was easy. Assemble and dingle in December, shoot a bunch of bands, cut a bunch of shows, easy. Now series 11, just a little bit more complicated. Dingle in December, Derry in February, London in April. So, Other Voices Series 11, second leg, here we are in Derry. It's the first time we've staged the show in a northern city, but of course, it's not the first time we've had northern acts on the show. So, Things are a little bit different this year. Well, for the first time, the show is going to be going out on the BBC, and when it goes out on BBC, I'm going to be doing it with her. <laughs> Hello, love. How's it going? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome to Jerry. Good to see Thanks you. Thanks very much. Uh, you're from here, aren't you? I am indeed, yes. Will you take me somewhere nice? I will. I'm going to take you to where I learned to sing and where the nuns used to sleep. Lovely. <laughs> so here we are in the Playhouse Theatre in Derry. Nice. And this it really is one of the jewels of the city. I feel um, the original wooden, beautiful cobbled flooring is still intact. They saved that. When the building was renovated, it went under a massive, massive structural uh, rebuild and keeping the infrastructure of the old convent and school that it was, uh, basically, what was it? A school. it was an old convent and an old school, and a very, very, very special place for myself and my family because we used to rehearse all the local plays and pantomimes here. This is where we used to we used to rehearse it. What did you play in the panto? Usually, um, a boy or a monkey. <laughs> it is. Uh, I was a good monkey. And then this I remember because this was the coldest room in the whole of the building. Yeah. But this is where we used to learn our dance routines. So if you want to do me dance with me now, you're very well. Sounds like there's a party going there on There is a here. party going on. This is the now dance studio. Oh, who are these kids? These are the kids from the local dance groups and they're rehearsing a production here at the moment. And we used to rehearse up here with the Oak Grove Theatre Group. And I remember before the building was obviously in the fantastic state it is now, I remember through thick and thin, no matter how bad things were, no matter how bad the troubles were, everybody used to gather here on a Monday or Tuesday night, and Tony O'Donnell and all the gang, you'd rehearse the pantomime or the local show, or whatever was going on, and it was such an amazing gathering for many, many different people from the community, from all over the community. And this was our dance room, and this is where the nuns used to sleep. And there's actually photographs on the walls of the nuns' dormitories. And this they is where beds, they, like... they had beds, and they all lived here. They washed, the washrooms, and this is where the nuns sleep. And it's actually the greatest room in the house because the view you have of the city is incredible. This is Grim, who's from Derry, and he'll be performing over the weekend now at the Music Trail, and we've crashed his rehearsal. This space is obviously the theatre, the main theatre in the Playhouse, and an amazing space for live music. I've played here four or five times now with my own band. Where's Grim's gig on? Tenny's tomorrow at five. Will we go? Yeah. Should we leave him to it? Let's leave him to it. Thanks, Grim. So, it's other voices, the same but different. Things that are the same. It is in an old church, but that church is a little bit bigger. And like Dingle, it has a music trail, and that's just a little bit bigger too, something like 57 bands and 15 venues. But whatever about size, like Dingle, it's all about music. Yeah! 